We are at chapter 3 right now, and to be honest, not much has happened. The game has been quite repetitive, but things might get better. I hope. And now let's start this chapter by watching this event. Tsuyoi chikara o Which means basically I can feel a strong presence. A strong power. This event starts with Raju asking Ameru about how is to be an angel. Well, in Amer's case, she is a reincarnation of an angel, but she doesn't actually have all the powers of an angel. So she explains that life is not that convenient, and that she, act she actually is glad that she can live as a normal human being. And then Magna comes and says that he, even though he is a great summoner, he was a very lazy student, giving us a very important life lesson. You don't need to work hard, and you will become successful. Isn't that great? And then Raju says about... Raju starts to misunderstand thinking that they are lovers. Well, actually everyone thinks that they are lovers. They are... They are basically lovers. And then everyone starts to to poke fun of them. And then Kyle says that he has no time to love, to romance, because he is a man of the sea. Or something like this. And then Amir starts to feel a strong, fearsome power by using her angel powers. And then they decided to check out. Which brings us to the same scenario from the trial version. And here is Ati, the most popular character of the Summer Night series right now. Well, even though this chapter is basically the same thing from the trial, it's not entirely the same thing though. Well, you see, there are lots of interesting things about this chapter. For starters, this event is way longer. There is much more details. どこ今の一撃、威嚇じゃなくて本気だった。さあ答えろ。異様そうどこへやった。え、何が何だかわからないけど、この人明らかに様子が変かも。だったらとりあえず逃げるが勝ちです。待て、ボケモノ。アメル、どっ
向こうから大きな力の流れが向こうだなあそこです危険な力の発生源はああの甲冑の男はルバイドなんだ知り合いなのかああ戦ったこともあるけど今は大切な仲間の一人だよでもまさかルバイドまでこの世界に呼ばれてきてたなんてってことは一緒に落ちてきたわけじゃないってことかお兄ちゃんああ分かってるよあのルバイドは様子がおかしい And then Magna comments about how he was enemies with l u v i d e in the past, but now they are friends. Even though he senses that there is something wrong with l u v i d e f u r o k i s h i a t t a k o r o y o r i m o m o t o Rokos de Hageshi Sakio Hanate, Kimi no Kanjita, Osoroshi Chikara Te Yunoa, Kono Kotonaka, Amel. Chigaimas. Tashka ni Lubaido Sankara no Ashki Kehai no Kanjira de Maskedo. 私が感じ取った力はイオスイオスを返せ However, アメ says that the fearsome power that she was feeling before was not coming from l u v i d e In fact, it comes from a very unlikely source. And now l u v i d e is looking for Eos, and he's accusing. He thinks that Achi was the one who kidnapped him. And there you go. The fearsome power was actually coming from Ati. And that's because of Shartos, the sword that he carries around. Yeah, that's right, Raju. Even though Ati is really, really sexy and h a v e really big opa eyes. She actually carries around a very dangerous sword, which actually is a very, very dangerous and evil sword. And then Kaio comes to the rescue to save his wife. とりあえず目の前のこいつをなんとかしねえとな。カエルさんが。デラックやっと見つけたぜ、先生。カエルさん。お見事の真っ最中みたいだが、一応無事みてえだな。はい。心配かけてごめんなさい。詳しい話は後
which brings us to a very interesting point during this battle. And now Luvaj is using the power of darkness to summon minions, something that every boss, every annoying boss can do. <laughs> Then Hasaha senses that those beings are not actually human beings. They are just they are just They are just empty shells. And those are the Zuiru, which Raju mentioned during the first chapter. And here it goes. Lovage has this lame voice now. Now we have three Brave Orders, one of them is hidden, but we will reveal this Brave Order soon enough. Those who played the trial can see that the battlefield is the same, but our position is different now. Last time we started around here, but now we are starting here. At first it doesn't seem much different, but that is actually some interesting things about positioning during this battle. Well, let's start. Then Ati is being attacked by Luvaid and they must get to her as fast as possible. And then Raju remembers conveniently that he has a very special ability and we get a pirate bento because of the party skill we have equipped, and now we learn about Superus Reigo. I don't know how you pronounce that in English. Anyway, this is a very special and exclusive skill to Raju. Well, Superus Reigo basically raises Raju's speech, which is very much like the same ability that the main character from Shiny Ark also had. And Shiny Ark was a game that was also developed by Media Vision. And we can use this power by using this special, special gauge. And we get more of that gauge the more we use special skills, defeat enemies, or we use summon assists. But this special gauge, let's let's use a let's use right now. Superus Reiko. Superus Reiko don't only make Raju much faster. There is a lot of other special bonuses that he gets. And now we get the the secret brave order, which is to get to Ati in five turns. Well, we can kill him now. It will be almost a one hit kill. And now we can finish him off. But first, I will equi equip this special defense style. The initiative. By using the initiative, 
Raji will, will, will attack before those who try to attack him with physical attacks. Basically, if the enemy tries to attack Raju, Raju will actually attack before the enemy. And only after that, that the enemy will, have, will be able to attack Raju. If Raju is strong enough to finish the enemy with just one hit, he will kill the enemy without getting any damage. This is a very, very overpowered ability. Because this basically means that I can, I can leave Raju surrounded by enemies, and he will kill all of them without getting any damage. It starts very weak. This ability starts very weak, but now I have upgraded this ability, and this initiative happens with 100% of accuracy. Now we will finish this enemy off. So that... yes. And this clears the, the first Brave Order. And now we can move close to Ati. <sighs> and this clears the secret Brave Order, which was to get right next to where Ati is. And now they have a special dialogue. Which basically they basically talk about how how Raju thinks that his ability is completely normal. But everyone is amazed by how fast he moves. Anyway, let's finish this soldier off. Let's do better than this. Now Hasaha can move around. You put her here. Yes, Kai will open that treasure chest. Oh no! One point of damage! And now we get a tutorial for Ati's special transformation using her magical sword. But we will not use it, because in Summer Night 3, by using this special sword, we got karma points. And in Summer Night, karma points means bad ending. I don't know if it's the same for Summer Night 6, but just to be sure, I will not use it right now. Since I have the maximum number of first age items, then Ati will open this treasure chest, which gives us Lovide's Summon Knight Leaf. Hey! 
Yeah, as you see, Radio is pretty, Radio is pretty OP. And now we start to kill this enemy here. Now we will use now I will use this special summoning summon material which summons a random object from Earth. It's a very classic special ability in Summonite. And I think it's quite quite funny too. And now there is only two soldiers left. Lovide and that archer right there. And Ati has one of the first summon creatures in the series. In case of well, in case if you didn't notice it, just in case, I must reveal that this ability, the Superus Regu, actually has a very special effect. Not only Raju gets faster, but he actually ignores completely anything that is an obstacle for him while he's moving around, including height. And that's why and that's how he gets he got here so fast. He can get to higher places without any problem. <sighs> and, by, and by using this, killing Luvide will be a breeze. <laughs> yes. That was almost too easy. And now we got a S rank. Because. We cleared all the brave waters and I didn't use any item. And we got a new bot skill Magic Charge. Which I don't know what it does. Let's see. Well, that's okay for now. I have to save some experience to Ati later. <coughs> ルバイド、目を覚ましてくれ。ルバイドさん。こいつ完全におかしくなってやがる。よ、そう。どこだ。そういえば、イオスさんの姿が見えません。いつもそばにいるはずなのに。探しているって言ってました。and for those who don't remember, or for those who didn't play Summonite 2, Eos is the best, is Lovide's best friend ever. And Lovide is looking for him. And he thinks that Ati kidnapped him. We will actually get an explanation for this soon after. 
ますよいなくなったイオスさんのことも気になりますが今はルバイドさんをどうにかしないとマグナさんどうにかならないんですか俺に聞かれても確かにルバイドと戦ったことはあるけどその時とはまた様子が違うみたいなんだ今はまるで何かに取りつかれているようなみんなよく見てあの人の周りをおのおひすびコントロールじゃないボタンフロンデキングオファイターズわあだっつ This is new material. Those stringy things were not from, are not from someone I true. もしかして、あの糸にルバイドは操られているのか。体だけじゃない、意識も操られているんじゃないのか。イオスを取り戻したいって気持ちを利用されて。だからってどうすればいいんだ。このままじゃ失せがないぞ。マグナの言う通りかもしれませんあの糸はルバイドさんの心をかき乱すことで膨大な魔力を引き出しているみたいです悪魔と同じうんそれ以上のおぞましさでじゃあそいつを何とかすればあの糸を断ち切ればいいんですねそれなら私がやってみます And then they decided to cut these strings even though a t i Says that those strings have.、Uh, actually, even though Ame says that those strings have more, more power than those of demons. <laughs> Ati decides to use her special sword because. Because Shartos. Actually, is a, as a sword born from one's heart. So, in Ati's theory, since her sword has the power of feelings, the power of her heart, if she has a strong heart, she can cut those strings. Well, this is Shone Manga logic. And now we will get to see Atis' transformation, which gives her white hair a Nekomimi. And then the cutscene abruptly ends. And by the way, that anime cutscene was cropped from the opening. Yeah, it was kinda cheap. And then Amer identifies this energy as the fearsome power she was, she was sensing. At the, at the start of the chapter. どうなっちまってるんだよ。兵士たちが糸くずになってちりぢりにパラパラどうして消えた。兵士の皆さんどうなっちゃったんでしょうか。消えちゃいましたけど。心配しなくていいよ。レシー。あいつらは化け物で。
人間じゃないんだなあラジュ君はあいつらをズイルーって呼んだけどそれって一体何なんだその様子だと前にも戦ったことがあるみたいだけどうんあれは記憶の残滓残りカスが形になっただけこの世界では別に珍しいものでも何でもないよ And then Raju explains that those Zuiru fangs, those creatures born from the shadows, they are just empty shells born from the, from the remain, remains of the remains of memories. Or something like that. I wonder how he knows about this. なんとかなったみたいですねお疲れさん、先生ええ、カエルさんあなたは心配しすぎです<笑>ルバイド、平気か俺は、今、何を正気を取り戻したみたいだな心配したんだぞ一体どうしたんだおいてめえアティが止めてなかったら今頃どうなってたかわかんねえんだぞアーティ貴様かそうですけど一体何が起きたというのだ And how we can expect l o v i t e is pretty confused right now お前の記憶がないのかいやうっすらとはあるがこの世界は一体何なのそれは俺たちもよくわかってないんだただここにいるみんながこの世界の空から落ちてきたようだこの世界に住んでいるラージュ以外はねルバイドもマグナたちの仲間なんだってなすまなかったどうやら俺は徐々に正気を失いつつあったらしいどこかに連れ去られてしまったイオスを探すうちに今は手当てが先ですよルバイドさん事情はそれから聞かせてくださいあすまんそんじゃパッチの中に帰ろうぜ Yeah, let's go back to inside party. It's so weird every time I listen to this. Kishi no Rubaido to Maken o Mini Ados to you, Ati. So, she, Kieta Shimatra, she, Io Sutte Hitoto. Itai, Sanin no Ida de Nanigo Kotanda. Rubaido, Ayats Tita Ito no Kotaya, Ati no Henshin Nishimo. Kininar Kotabakari de. And now we get r i z a that is summoning creature that Ati was using before. It, it is one of the first machine type summon creatures since the first summonite. You know, there is something interesting happening during this night talk with Ati. As you can listen, Ati has no voice. But we actually get something different in this night talk, even so. Ati tries to become friends with、uh, that little creature that is friends. That, that, that little thing, Pachi. But she starts to touch Pachi's belly. But Pachi is not very fond of this. And Pachi starts to, to fear that she is hated by Pachi. She tries to apologize. And then you can get to, you can you get multiple options. And it seems this one is, is the right one. Which is in this event, Raju has to tell Ati. What Pachi wants to say to her. 
since only uh, only Raj can understand what Pat is trying to say, more or less, and what Pat wants to say to Ati uh, is that he he has something he wants to say to Ati. And it seems this was the right option because of that spark right now. And Patty explains that he doesn't hate Ati. Who would? I think that everyone, pretty much everyone loves Ati, I guess. The only problem is that Patty hates to be touched on his belly button. And once this misunderstanding, once this misunderstanding gets clarified, they become really good friends. Yeah, it's a pretty basic event, but it's nice to see that there are multiple choices to do. Now we get the appearance of the Demon Lord, Diabolic Linkers, the fourth chapter, which pretty much means that in this chapter we will get to see the main character from Summer Night 1. But for now, some revelations and some pretty interesting ones. Now they are trying to understand why Luvaj was trying to attack Ati even before he got possessed by those strings. And he says something very interesting. Apparently, Luvaj came from a timeline where Ati was, uh, was evil. Which is actually a pretty interesting thing to do with the old characters from the Summer Night series, instead of just using this, in, using the same version of them, they, they are creating alternative versions of the old characters, and it makes sense. Archie was Archie was in the army before. She was a soldier who fought during wars, so it would make sense that. In older timeline, she became a fearsome soldier who doesn't hesitate when she has to kill someone. But even so, they explain to Lovage about the different timelines theory, and Lovage understands it. He is still confused, of course. But everyone understands that he isn't lying, and Luvaj also notices that they are not they are not lying either. And then Luvaj apologizes for attacking Ati because even though Luvaj doesn't look like it, he is a pretty nice guy. And then, they agree upon joining forces to look for their friends. Well, this is pretty basic, but it's interesting to see that now we have these different alternative timelines of this, those characters. I would like to see the evil version of Ati. This is getting more interesting now. So. I will finish this video here, and we will get to see the rest on chapter 4. That's it for now, but if you have some questions, feel free to leave some comments. And that's it. Bye!